Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, you know, we're doing that walking and talking again. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more of these uh, walking and talkings uh, in the future. Um, and uh, yeah, so today we're going to be walking and talking. What are we going to be walking and talking about? Well, first off, exactly what the title of uh, the video said. We're going to be talking about the Confederate flag. We're talking about the Civil War. We're going to be talking about... Um, you know that topic it's something that i've been wanting to talk about um for a little bit now um ever since i noticed that all of a sudden um they have been uh getting rid of the confederate flag all over the place you know here and there um you know whether it's um the military getting rid of the confederate flag representation or nascar or whatever you know a bunch of things that are going on with that sorry shoe shoe situation here all right um you know, I, I, I was wondering, it's like, huh, that's a little weird. You know, um, now, you know, straight up, you know, I'm not a guy, you know, that's either or, you know, on this conversation. Um, meaning, I'm not like, um, how do I say this? I'm not like a full staunch supporter of the Confederate flag, but if you understand its history, then you would be, you know, a bit more of a supporter of your history, of, uh, of American history, especially if you're an American and you understand uh, really what the Confederate flag is all about. It represented uh, a moment in time in which, uh, you know, part of the nation split off from, you know, um, the other nation. You know what I mean? Basically, the nation split into two. Um, and um, the Confederate flag represented basically kind of like the, you know, the people that were fed up with uh, the government. Kind of like right now, we're fed up with the government. And because we're fed up with the government, you know, there's a lot of talk of... Uh, you know revolution or civil war so we're repeating the same same thing again so you know with that being said um as i've been seeing as you've been seeing as a lot of us have been seeing a lot of the things that are going on you know in uh in the world today um we have noticed that you know again they're taking down statues now all of a sudden you know and, and i'm not just talking about you know um the you know the racist black you know the ones that they say are racist people you know the statues of racist uh, figures but no even even ones like thomas jefferson and george washington and all kinds of things so you know to me what i'm starting to really see is that just like a lot of the things just like a lot of the things that they've been doing lately you know meaning um uh, a lot of the censorship, a lot of the erasing of history, a lot of the changing of history, a lot of things like that, all of a sudden, you know, this is all kind of like part of that same agenda or kind of part of that same uh, ideal. Yeah, I'm sorry. It was like, it just rained and there's a lot of rain puddles as you guys can see, plus the sun's in my eye. It's uh, late afternoon. So back to what I was saying. So... You know, we're, we're starting to see um, what we've been seeing for a while now, the fact that they've been erasing a lot of history. They've been rewriting a lot of history. They've been, you know, rebranding a lot of the history and things that have been going on, um, you know, uh, with censorship and all that stuff. So now what we're starting to see is um, some even more of that. When I, was, when I started to see like the whole Confederate flag situation, to me, what that was signaling was like wait a minute you know they're really they're trying to get rid of our history now in fact they're trying to get rid of any memory as to the real reason why um we had the civil war to begin with or anything you know um you know, people they didn't even want people to have that that conversation about the civil war basically as you guys as you guys already know no matter you know they're getting they're canceling on jemima and uncle ben which by the way you know from my understanding Aunt jemima and uncle ben were both black entrepreneurs that created um those brands and those things and then you know that's why they're on the label it's because that was them there's or whatever a caricature of the people that created them whatever the point is is that you know when this whole civil right now with the things that are going on with the police versus the people you know um we're going to talk about that in a little bit the whole police versus the people and how you know i talked about that before 
um, in, uh, in, in many episodes in the past talking about how um, that was how the next civil war was probably going to start. So anyways, we're seeing that develop now. And as we're seeing it develop, it's, uh, you know, it's all of a sudden it's being turned into a race war. Okay, more than anything else. So we're having a race war right in front of us all of a sudden. Um, and, um, you know, that's why the whole civil war thing is kind of like very important because again, there's a lot of people that really don't know their history and they think that everything about the civil war was just uh, slavery and that we were just fighting for slavery. Like, no, <laughs> it wasn't anything, you know, it was like a small part of it. The reality was it was all, all economics. It's always economics. It's always the money. And so it was about money. And um, that's basically it, you know, <laughs> you know? And um, we're seeing the same thing right now. You know, they're trying to make it into a, a race war. They're trying to make it into something that it's not, but it's really an economic thing. You know, that's really why the people are on the streets. That's, that's really why the thing, you know, things are the way they are and all that stuff. So it, it's just um, very interesting to see all this play out. You know, we're seeing a lot of similarities to things that have, uh, you know happened to us in the past as a nation and um again as of right now you know what's going on with that with that whole situation um you know let's just go back to the flag thing you know when i keep seeing that they were trying to get rid of the you know the confederate flag and uh well they've been getting rid of the confederate flag man i got a rock in my shoe here all right anyways um the, you know getting rid of the whole confederate flag situation you know i was like man this is just getting rid of history they really don't even want it anywhere to begin with. They don't even want people to even, you know, um, think or go back and study the Civil War because we might be having another Civil War and they don't want people to make any correlations or, you know what I mean? Like, um, realize that there's a lot more similarities here than um, meets the eye. And um, that's why they want to, like, again, not just get rid of the flag, you know, so that we forget about the real reasons and the whatever, but they want to control the narrative, you know, saying right from the beginning, right from now, you know, it's like, oh, that flag represents slavery, that flag represents racism, that flag represents all of these negative, horrible things. When it really, it really, more, more than anything else, what it represented was revolution. It represented um, everything that our founding fathers, you know, uh, founded this freaking nation on, you know, which was, you know, the fact that like if shit, if the government gets corrupt and um, we have to fight back and we have to, you know, take the power back and do whatever, we have the ability to do that. And in that sense, in that situation, uh, you know, how the Civil War started was that there was a, a a disagreement i think in the congress and they stepped out in the middle of congress and that you know basically um enacted the civil war because what that meant was that you know all of a sudden all the nations you know all i mean all this all the states were not in agreement so because they weren't in agreement then that means that like the whole union was null and void and that's when the whole civil war started and by the way the union never you know got back together again okay you know, the United States is actually a corporation, all right? But that's another story for another day, all right? We'll talk that another day. Right now, we're talking about the whole, uh, you know, the Civil War situation that's actually developing and happening right in front of our eyes. Um, I didn't want to fucking say it, you know what I mean? I didn't want to, like, think about it. I didn't want to want to bring it up, you know, but, you know, the reality is that, you know, that's kind of like where we're headed, you know. Um, now, of course, you know, bring it up. I want to bring it up and talk about it here in the show, but... Well, I guess what I meant to say is, remember, I speak Spanish and all this other stuff too. I got, um, but I get really what I mean to say is like, damn, I don't even want to like talk about this and think about it as a reality. But as time goes on, as we go, you know, further and further ahead here, um, it seems that that is the path that we're headed. That's the direction that we're heading. Unfortunately, it's kind of nuts. And, um, you know, the whole Civil War thing, that's something that we've been seeing for a while now. You know, we've been heading in that direction for a while. And um, it's kind of crazy to see it, the whole thing develop. So, again, you know, just going back to finish off on the, the Confederate flag thing real quick before I move on to the next thing. You know, you, when I first saw the whole Confederate flag, you know, situation there, as I started seeing all of that, you know, basically, you know, the Confederate flag got like a... The Alex Jones uh, treatment, you know, they got banned all over the place at the same time, almost simultaneously. I, you know, as soon as I kind of like saw that, 
I thought to myself, man, there's uh, there's some nefarious uh, reason behind all this. You know what I mean? Like this isn't this is a little bit too coordinated. This is a little bit too. You know what I mean? So. You know, like right off the bat, I knew it was like, man, I think that they're really just going back to like trying to erase history, um, trying to make sure that they have the control of the narrative when it comes to, you know, the civil war that is now going to be part two. The second civil war is about to hit us, about to go upon us. And they don't want people, they don't want people out there to use the Confederate flag or, or even think about using the Confederate flag as a tool of rebellion because that's what it was remember it was a re the rebellion you know like uh, um they don't want to use that um they don't want that sign uh, out there they don't want even people to think about the fact that you know you could create a rebellion that you could uh you know <laughs> revolution you know like and do all that stuff and uh and to take your rights back and, and or whatever so the point is is that you know i think that they're really just trying to like get rid of that um and they don't want um you know people to reuse that flag but I, what i think is going to happen is that when we do hit the civil war um there is going to be one side that will be using that flag and we'll be adopting that flag again because now even more so than ever the fact that now it's banned and that they don't want it you know to be associated with the united states for all this all the reasons all the wrong reasons, you know what I mean? Then people, I think, are going to adopt that flag again in order to represent their, you know, um, this taste, you know, this uh, disapproval of, um, you know, the current situation. So, yeah, man. I, honestly, you know, I, I like I said, I really do see a lot of uh, a lot of things um, that when they, you know, I see, I see a lot of. Uh, Man, it's a fucking loud muffler there. Anyways, uh, gotta love that freedom. No, but anyways, um, so yeah, sorry, I'm trying to walk also through these big puddles. Oh shit, okay, made it. Um, but yeah, man, you know, again, you know, just the whole idea of the, the Confederate flag situation, man, that shit really started getting me turning. And I've been meaning to talk about this. In fact, this is like a topic I had written on my desk you know, Benny wanted to talk about it. I was gonna make an actual video. But I was like, no, man, you know, I like these walks and talks, you know, they help me um formulated thought sometimes a little better um and i gotta get back on it you know what i mean i gotta get back on the on the on the wagon you know so i can start making content more on a regular basis which by the way check out the other channel i uploaded a video today there as well um but yeah just like that guy over there you know we gotta get ready man get get back to work you know so vacation over right and it's not over you know in fact you no know, this Everything that's happening this is all just the beginning. Oh man, we almost had an accident there. Huh? That guy just pulling out at the worst possible time. Anyways, all right, we're not, back to me. <laughs> no, but yeah, guys, like again, this is just the very beginning, honestly, to tell you the truth. Um, the way I'm seeing everything develop, I see like right now, you know, this is just the beginning. You know, we're just starting with this whole mess. Um, and depending on the country you're in, it's going to depend on on how your country's gonna you know um handle this recover from it and uh, and everything in between um you know most countries are kind of like uh in a wait and see mode and they follow again depending on how things develop in the u.s are gonna affect every country completely different and uh we're gonna you know it's a wait and see thing but you know like i was saying i really don't not, I don't. The last thing I want is for the U.S. to go into civil war. Um, in fact, I would. You know what I want. What I think a lot of people want is a revolution. But what they're actually trying to do is to get everybody to fight against each other. So therefore, you know, everybody's busy fighting with each other over nuance, over the stupidest things. You know, the stupidest topics, instead of uh, you know, talking about the important issues that they should be talking about. You know, which is how they're getting screwed every single day right now um with the economy you know like um i think ever since the pandemic started just then alone the dollar lost six percent of its value so anyone out there with dollars you know um even after the recovery that we've had right now in the stock market it's already uh at a six percent um loss you know what i mean um and that's not including already the losses that you know everyone is incurring by holding dollars at all times 
on top of that all the money printing that's happening that we've discussed um and when i do when i did the last live stream i believe you know we discussed about uh, the whole money printing situation you know we talked about you know um what you know whole cryptocurrency situation gold and silver and all that stuff but you know the reality is is that what's going on right now it happened recently you know what i mean like just as recent as like a little bit over 100 years ago like 105 like 105 years ago i was a, a friend screaming to a friend this is, i believe <laughs> anyways but as i was saying so everything that's happening now you know has already happened before so let's just go with the, the virus thing you know a hundred years ago uh, back in the mid 19 early 1900s you know 1915 16 to 1917 18 19 20 around that time Bruh. don't quote me on the exact date you can look it up the spanish flu hit during the spanish flu look guys it was the same thing it was a lot of propaganda telling people we're all dying from this fucking thing uh, that was actually um came from the united states of america not from spain but everybody knows that the spanish flu so there you go you know what i mean like uh that's so how much propaganda has uh, seeped into you know even back then um and with that being said you know um you know all the numbers you know were fixed back then just like they were today only now back then i think they're back then they were a lot easier to fix because again you know the public was a little bit more um easier to manipulate just because you know the times were different the technologies and all these other things that came with that but you know i digress the point is is that you know not only do we have it but people had to wear those face masks back then as well you know the same exact political or the same exact um you know um fights and discussions were happening happening on the street about uh you know whether you're wearing the face mask or not whether your bodies are di people are dying or not you know same old same old okay um you know again you know we can talk about the numbers you know whether they're real or not back then um same as now well actually now you know when we got hard evidence you know that you know these things nothing's really happening but um i digress um that was going on um a monetary system change was also going on with the banking system um back in 1913 you know that's when the fed came in, into play um that's when uh you know mr woodrow wilson sold us uh you know down the river all right you can look into that read some books like the creature from jekyll island all right for some more information on that um but the point is is that you know we were going through that we're going through a monetary change right now um it's a different monetary change a monetary change that we're having at the moment is basically um you know we're at the end of the monetary system we're at the end of the dollar the complete end of the dollar and now we're going into hyperinflation and um with uh hyperinflation um comes um a lot of uh a lot of money in your pocket right now which you're seeing most of you guys are seeing a lot of money being put in your pocket right now and at the same time you're going to see the dollar inflate you're going to see everything go up in price so you better make sure you start spending those dollars all right <laughs> before everything starts going up in price and then those dollars ain't worth shit and uh so on and so on so we're descending slowly down into chaos um the united states has uh officially crossed the line from socialism to most likely communism now what now what are the people going to do about it you know you got people that, that are right now um all across the u.s are demanding fascism and other people are demanding their freedom back so who's gonna win i guess we're gonna find out real soon all right so you know it's only getting started it's only beginning this whole thing is just really just only getting started at the moment i think most people know that i think most people that are seeing everything know that um yeah like i said this ain't easy guys you know i gotta slip and slide when i'm walking and talking anyways <laughs> only cares about me just care about what i have to say anyways it's good enough for me don't worry about it uh so <laughs> like i was saying uh yeah you know right now you know we're at the very beginning of a lot of this stuff you know oh let me see i think it's a little dirty there there you go Eh, whatever we're at the beginning of uh you know this whole thing you know we're at the beginning of the transition we're um about to experience civil war in the united states and the civil war is already going on right now uh, whether you want to believe it or not it's been going on for a while it's just ramping up now and um you know war civil war in the future 
which is now, is not going to look anything like uh, the civil wars of the past. It's just not. And that's one thing that we all have to kind of like uh, understand and embrace, okay? And uh, know, um, it's like some bird or something out there. You hear that shit? Jesus. Anyways, but must be some uh, pet or aviary or whatever. Anyways, but so back to what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, back to what I was saying before I got really interrupted and distracted um, the, the whole thing is just getting started right now and um, you know depending on what country you're in um, depending on how you're gonna see this uh, play out and how it's gonna affect you I think that you know anyone in the euro zone that's heavily invested in the euro you're gonna fall hard the dollar is gonna fall hard and uh, so on and so forth and uh, you know if you have a country currency that is uh, you know backed by silver backed by gold backed by some something um and uh you know so many other things you know like um you set yourself up for success instead of disaster then you know your countries are going to be fine out there a lot of people know a lot of people can figure out which countries are which the u.s unfortunately has been setting itself for disaster for a very long time and now everything is uh, kind of coming to fruition you know whether it's uh the economy that's coming to an end um whether it's um the superiority that it's had on a world stage on many many fronts it's all coming to an end and so you know just like when rome fell it doesn't mean that america is going to disappear and it's going to be gone forever or nothing like that on the contrary you know what i mean like um you know even today you know we still have many customs that were you know created or you know were started back in roman times and we still today use them you know whether it's inventions you know whether it's uh you know customs you know a million things so you know it's the same kind of thing with america and its culture and things like that you know it's going to be around for a while america's not going anywhere in that sense you know um even though hold on. <laughs> even though um even though big changes are coming it doesn't mean that it's the end um for example where i am right now which is in mexico it's america it's also north america but nobody considers it that um canada also north america people consider it that but anyways <laughs> the point i'm making is that it's a lot of changes going on in the world and uh if you know your history if you know what's going on then you have already prepared you are for you know you are one of the few out there like me that is just seeing the whole thing develop and uh you know, you can just sit back and watch the fireworks. Something that we've talked about for a while now. About doing, okay? Meaning that, again, it's all about, you know, getting yourself ready, getting prepped, right? Being a prepper, I guess, you know, whatever that, you know, um, the whole prepper lifestyle or whatever. But the whole point is that it's all about getting ready and getting prepared making sure that you know when the time comes which is now that you're ready to go and that you're not um losing your head like a chicken with his head cut off you know exactly uh you know uh, where you're going uh, what's gonna happen you know you can pr easily predict or at least get close to predicting uh you know where we're going with all this like i'm trying to do here and uh and then just that's it you know kind of like sit back wait and then you know uh proceed uh proceed as you know needed you know like uh how do i know and i proceed as needed hmm. i meant to say like proceed heed with uh how do i say just um uh, sorry i'm having a little bit of a brain fart but anyways but all i'm saying is that you know proceed accordingly you know meaning that depending on the situation depending how you know things move and things happen is uh you know you got to think on your feet you got depends on how you're going to react so you know right now it's not a time to be sitting there, you know, crying and poo-pooing, you know, about all these things that are going on. But no, you know, right now it's um, if you're one of the if you're one of the people out there that doesn't know what the fuck is going on, now is the time to start learning and figuring out what the fuck is going on. I mean, if you haven't already done that, I'm pretty sure you're already, you know, already uh, working on that. Now, if you are one of the few out there. You know one of the many actually that already knows exactly you know what's going on and where you're going and and all that shit then and where all this is going and the fact that it's finally coming to fruition it's finally happening all of these things 
then it's very, very simple, very, very easy. You know, you just now got to put your game plan into place. And that's it, you know what I mean? Like it's, uh, you know, something that, you know, for again, for many of us, is something that we've been uh, kind of, you know, kind of expecting for a long time now. And it's finally happening. And sure, it's going to take longer to develop than what we think and what we thought originally. And it never takes uh, form or shape in the way that we want it to or we expect it to. But again, the more you study, the more you prepare, the more you everything, the better you are at guessing exactly what's uh, happening and what's going to happen and where we are going from here. And, uh, you know, that's it. You know what I mean? That's why, like, you know, to me, it's like, you know, I haven't even been making that many videos. I'm starting to make more videos now because now we're at a different point, you know? Now we've moved forward, but I haven't made videos and talked about certain things for a while because it's like, the fuck am I going to talk about? You know what I mean? I already, I mean, we're here. Now what? You know what I mean? Now we got to wait for the thing to develop a little more. You know, um, you got to marinate, you know, you got to you gotta do its thing, you know, before we move on to the next cooking step, you know, and that's kind of like where we're at, you know, right now it's already, you know, marinated a little bit. It's already done a few things, that whole, you know, that whole situation. And now that's it, you know, we're moving on to the next step of the cooking process. You know, that's, that's where we're at. That's where we're going. So, you know, it's an exciting time to be alive, you know what I mean? Especially if you've been someone that's been waiting for this for a while, been preparing for a while, you know, um, like someone like me where I've, uh, you know, um, come out here and made a, made a home out here, um, not just in the US, but now it's like, whoa, I'm glad I'm here, you know what I mean? And I'm not over there, you know, during that whole mess. You know, I'm glad that I've, uh, you know, been able to buy silver, buy gold, buy Bitcoin, buy Monero, and so on and so forth you know the fact that you know now i'm being put in a position where i can get some more and prepare myself you know and uh, prepare myself accordingly and um now as i see things develop it's like i gotta take different steps different measures which i've been able to do because i've set myself up correctly the first time around and uh so on and so forth and uh i mean that's it guys you know i mean that's kind of like basically what today's sunday message is all about you know um making making you think as to what's really going to happen what's going on how are you going to deal with this um i really hope it's not a civil war i hope that's not the route where we go down but the, the more this thing develops the more it seems that that's probably the case and it's probably already happening and it's not looking like it's going to be easing up anytime soon and it's just the truth and the reality of it and uh what are we going to do you know what i mean like we got to prepare you got to you got to deal, you got to play with the hand that you're given, all right? This is the hand that we've been given. So, again, you know, how are we going to deal with this? How are we going to plan around this? How are we going to come out successful? How are we going to come out winning? How are we going to protect ourselves, our family, our loved ones? Um, and, and so on and so forth, you know? So, you know, this is the time to reflect on all those things. This is the time to work on all those things, cement them down and uh, just hunker down and again i hope to god that you know we don't have like some major civil war breakout some major civil you know situation breakout nothing like that i really hope to god that nothing at all like that happens but you know the longer that we're you know uh in, in doing this you know i mean the, the longer the, i mean the, the further that this thing keeps developing that's what it looks like i mean we're seeing a lot of uh you know political strife happening all around the world uh we're seeing like again places like hong kong being taken over by china you know we're seeing so many things just kind of like developing and taking place right now and um yeah you know what i mean like you got to be really blind if you don't see it if you don't see it all happening if you don't see what's happening you know everything with uh you know shell gates and uh the vaccines and what's going on with uh everything you know every single fucking thing that's going on so you know right now is not a time to be arguing and fighting with uh, your neighbor and your loved ones even though it's very hard because that's all everybody is doing so since that's the case and uh, and there's no real resolution then all you got to do is prepare accordingly make sure that you and your family and your assets and everybody that you you love and you care about and everything that you love and care about is make sure it's taken care of and uh, then nothing happens to it because otherwise it's, you're gonna lose it <laughs> that's as simple as that all right so all right guys guess what we're here 
we're home long nice little walk today get that exercise get that vitamin d um well what's left of the sun you know get some uh extra you know get some uh that blood flowing uh and all that good stuff <laughs> i actually filmed two episodes today and um, I had to wait um, and take a, rain, a break because it was raining in between episodes. But if you want to see the other episode, check out the other channel. Talking about Mexico, what's going on out here and all that good stuff. And uh, check out the website. Check out all the links below. Check out the podcast where I put two podcasts up every single day. So if you don't know about the podcast, there's a gazillion tons of content. All right. Where I talk about things like this. For hours, I talk about comedy. We talk about all kinds of things. Check them out. Um, I think that you guys will thoroughly enjoy them, especially if you're still watching this video right now all the way through. So check all that uh, out. All the links are down below. Check out uh, the website to find all the links and find everywhere. And uh, you already know what to do. If you like this content, if you really enjoyed this content, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon so you know when I drop videos. I'm gonna be dropping a lot more videos than usual than I have in a while and um, that's it you know that hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day thanks for watching